Well, hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new series of videos I'm going to be creating over the next 18 months. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, uh, I've got into the CPC Wings Integrated ATPL course, which, if you haven't heard, is considered to be one of the best courses out there if you want to become an airline pilot. So what's this series going to do? It's essentially going to be a weekly set of videos, at the end of every week, I'm going to record the video and just talk to you about my experiences of what's gone on in the past week. So, let's kick the series off with week one. So, week one. Well, for me, that's actually started on a Sunday when I travelled down to Southampton from where I live. Uh, very first day is a moderately early start, mainly it starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. But if you're travelling several hundred miles, it's not really practical to travel down the same day. So for me and quite a few other guys, we travelled down to CTC area on the Sunday to start on the Monday. Now the Monday isn't technically the start of our ATPL ground theory, that starts on the Wednesday. And the Monday it's just a meet and greet. You go down, you can bring family members along, you get to the facility, and if your family members are lucky, they'll get to have a go on one of the flight simulators. Unfortunately I didn't get to have a go on the flight simulator because as a CDC cadet we was in various briefings, including the accommodation briefing which is where we got our keys. We also had a presentation where we got our CTC epaulets. More on that later, because we, there's recently been a change at CTC where you used to get, send an order form in before your uniform, and you'd get it on your very first day. However, by the sound of things, people apparently can't measure, measure themselves properly, and uh, they've changed the system now to where they will measure you, your tries and mighties on, and then usually about a week later you'll get your uniform. So, as of the time filming this, this is currently the Sunday, end of the first week, we're expecting to get our uniform on about Tuesday, Wednesday, so hopefully for next week's video, hopefully I will be using the uniform. So, the Monday wasn't very long really, it's just mostly like meet and greet, briefings, and uh, a bit of lunch really, because at the end of the day we were starting. Technically, our ATPL ground theory on Wednesday, but we had an airline preparation day on the Tuesday. So, we all got split off into houses. We knew, the vast majority of us knew who we were living with about a week in advance, but there was a couple of minor changes. Uh, the houses do vary quite a bit in size and location. Uh, for me personally, we're in a uh, small, like 1930s, like townhouse area. And in our house we've got four guys, two bathrooms, but this can vary by quite a bit. I mean, we've seen, I've, well, I've seen other houses that have got three different floors and the whole six different people. Whereas there's also another house, which I'm aware of, has only got two guys in a small bungalow, which we've actually nicknamed the Love, the love Shank. Yeah. Inside joke, that one. So. In terms of distance to the flight school, how far away can you be? Well, again, it's a sign that can vary quite a bit. In our contract, it says that we can be up to 15 miles away, which doesn't really mean a lot because 15 miles away doesn't translate into much in terms of this of time. You could be 15 miles away, and that could be a motorway drive, which means you could be at CTC very quickly, or that could be on small forest back streets, and it would take you ages to get in. For me, we're not too bad. We can, on a clear run, we can do it in under 15 minutes, but with normal morning traffic, we're looking at about 20 to 25 minutes, and that generally seems to be the norm for the most part of our course. So, on to the Tuesday, we have what's known as airline preparation day one. So, one of the things that CTC makes very clear is from day one, you, they're, they're trying to get you thinking like an airport, airline pilot right from the start, which is a good thing, really, because that's what we're going into. And after that, we had a uniform briefing, and we also had a mass revision session, which included a lovely little test. 
which we later actually will get one-to-one -one feedback on that. So the guy that does the math test with you, he will actually call you in one by one. Here's, here's your answer sheet. Here's the questions that you got wrong, and this, and it will explain to you why you've got them wrong, and we'll make sure that you understand the principles behind what went right and what went wrong. So, on to Wednesday now. Very first day of ATPL ground theory. 9 a.m. start, very normal. Very first topic for us in module one is human performance and limitations. As a matter of fact, we've done that on Wednesday. On Thursday, and we also did it on Friday. It's very intense from day one. I mean, I've got a list of modules here, not modules, uh, topics that we've already completed. Uh, well, there's 17 chapters in HPL, in important limitations that means. So 17 chapters, and we've already done 10 in three days. That should give you an idea of how intense this course is, and that's just one topic. There are three modules, 14 exams that we have to pass for the ACPL theory. Module 1, we're going to do four topics. Module 2, four again. And module 3, we're going to do six. Although that, a lot of the modules in that last part, so topics that is in that last part, are quite small. So we're going to study HPL at the moment, human performance limitations. Uh, things we've gone over so far, uh, we've talked about the industry, how it affects performance, human body, nervous system, the atmosphere, cardiovascular system, eyes and vision, ears and hearing, and high functions and perceptual areas, and of course, personal health and hygiene. They want to get that one right from the start. So like I said, very intense. Um, <laughs> not really had much free time. What a lot of people think when they apply to CPC is, uh, is a 9 till 5 course. It's not. Excuse the radiator noise. We've got a bit of air in the system at the moment. So anyhow, a lot of people think it's a 9 till 5 course. Well, technically it generally is. But one of the things that will have to happen is when you come out of your lessons, there will be a lot of things that you need to absorb, go over, and you'll usually spend about, well, so far this book will spend about two or three hours going over what we've done during the day. We've been told that will probably go up to about four hours. So when you include eating, cleaning the house, you really haven't got much free time, especially during the week. I mean, I'm filming this on the Sunday. I spent most of the yesterday doing shopping and planning out what am I going to be eating for the week because I don't really want to spend time shopping during the weekday when I should really be revising. So this is really the first bit of free time I've really got, but as soon as this video is over, I'm going to be going over some more HPL stuff. So, not really free time to be honest, the weekend you do actually have to work. So what have we got coming up next week? Well, we've got H more HPL due at the end of the week. So at the start of the week, we're going to be doing some general navigation topics. Uh, I actually have a PPL already, so I do have a little bit of a basis to go on, and general navigation is generally quite interesting, it's something that's quite useful, whereas HPL can be quite uninteresting at times and a bit monotonous, but it has to be done for the ACPL exam, so yeah, that'd be it. Uh, we also had a bit of uh, an unexpected moment actually on Wednesday, a group of us at eating lunch, we were just going for a walk round, round the facility at CTC, and as we went past the simulator hall, one of the instructors came, came out for a, a break, and he just turned around to us and said, hey guys, the simulator's free for five minutes, feel free to have a look round. To which we initially thought he was joking, because no one gets in those simulators in the first week, it was just unheard of. And then we realised he wasn't joking and we uh, legged it into the simulator and uh, yeah, we all sat in the captain's and first officer's chair, took lots of photos and it was a real motivation booster. I mean, one of my course co colleagues just wanted to use the uh, tray table that's in the Airbus simulator. I mean, it's just simple things like that that just keep us going. 
So I think that's just about it for the first week. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, give it a thumbs up. Uh, want to see more? Feel free to subscribe. No song going to see you soon. Share this video. You never know, it might be interesting. And uh, if I'm not too busy, I should be able to do these every week, but if it gets to exam season time, I might have to scale that back and maybe do it every other week. We'll see how it goes along. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.